Alrighty, big weekend here in the garage. I'm very, very excited. We're gonna be doing some drywalling. Folks, we're gonna be doing some drywalling. I'm uh, looking forward to this. I don't think I've, I was kind of thinking back, I'm like, have I ever drywalled? I mean, I've fixed like holes and patches and stuff like that, but I don't think I've actually physically like hung like a sheet, a four by eight sheet of drywall and mudding and taping and all that stuff. So I'm definitely looking forward to this learning experience. Uh, you can make fun of me if you want, if I screw something up, but hey, that's the whole point of learning and doing DIY. So we're gonna get started tonight, Friday night. It's probably a long weekend project. And uh, so let's get started. Alrighty, so the first sheet's gonna go right here in this bottom corner. We have an electrical outlet we need to make a hole for, a vent, and two more electrical outlets up here. I uh, went and picked up some half inch drywall. This is ultra light. It's actually kind of light. I handle these, um, it's upside down, but here's half inch. It's nice and light, which um, since I'm gonna be doing this by myself, um, so let's get started, lay out some um, pencil marks and cut some holes. All right, so like I said, I'm not a professional here. This is like my, really my first time. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you what, at least how I think it's supposed to be done laying out electrical boxes. And so what I'm gonna do is measure to the upper left-hand corner, that corner, uh, draw two lines and make that point here, and then just measure out the, the box. And I'm gonna make that hole there. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Hopefully it's right. <laughs> first try look at that so all right i'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these holes out Alrighty, first sheet is up it's holding up there with a couple screws uh so all my cuts were good um you do need i found out you need to be, need to be careful because i went uh and pounded this in and it kind of chipped it a little bit so i'll fix that up with some of that tape and some mud uh, so maybe just make the hole a little bit bigger than the outlet so that way you don't have that of course i didn't learn my lesson i did over here too so I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this off. All right, one little tidbit I did find when I was putting those couple screws in is that my impact gun is way too much. Uh, I was driving the, the screws way into the drywall. So I switched to my regular drill and I put the torque setting on a number three. Might go below that, but I'll see, I'll play with it. Um, and I'll show you here, demonstrate um, putting a screw in. All right, so there's my mis my mistake. You see there that it went in too far. So you just gotta be really, it's really sensitive, this drywall. So I changed my setting down to a one. See, just below the surface there. That's what you want. All right, so I got all my drywall up that I'm gonna have up for now. And next we're gonna apply some mud, but first we need to put on some drywall tape. Now this is the mesh kind, it has a nice sticky back so it will stick to the drywall. And this will go over all the joints and make them nice and strong so they don't crack later on in the future. One thing that's nice about drywall is that when it gets to the edge, it kind of divots in and kind of makes a, a hole here. And so when you lay your tape across and you fill that with mud, it will be nice and flat. And I'll show you that later on when I, as I mud this joint, you'll see, you'll see the little imprint and how it gets covered up. Here's a good shot of that gap you see. So that will get filled in with the drywall mud and make that a nice strong joint. All right, so now that we're ready to mud, what I wanna do with this first coat of mud is just get the mud in between the two pieces of drywall and fill that void and get a nice smooth, thin layer of drywall mud over the tape to make that nice and strong. I'm not gonna worry about making it this look pretty and whatnot, we'll do that on another coat. And also I'm gonna cover the screw holes. What I'm doing here is trying to, is just forcing, push when I push in, push in and make sure that, that the mud gets in that joint by a little bit of pressure and then just clean it off. The 
first coat has set and now I'm going to be switching to a wider blade to cover more surface and fill in those gaps. Alright, so with the second coat you'll see this is the void that I'm going to be filling with the larger knife. I'm going to be dragging this across and you'll see how it fills, it fills that in nice. And if I do this good enough, I sh this might be my last pass. Uh, if I get it nice and smooth, I could get kind of picky sometimes and try to be perfectionist, but I'll try not to do that. With the vertical joints, it, the drywall doesn't have that groove in it, so this is a little bit trickier. You got to be a little bit more patient with it and uh, work the mud around there and get it, get it as smooth as you can. Second coat is dry, I let it dry overnight. I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding to see what areas I need to add a little bit more drywall mud. Sanding is complete and I'm very happy with the way this has turned out. You can see there's a nice strip of drywall mud down, nice and even. Uh, that's where the, the drywall boards at the ends kind of divot in and you fill that up with drywall. All right, so that's gonna do it for this video. I'm very happy with the way this has turned out. I'm not gonna drag this on too much longer. I think you guys get the idea. I don't wanna bore you too much. But there's a couple areas where I'm gonna fill in with a nice thin third layer coat of drywall to clean those up and then throw a coat of primer and paint on this and get ready to install my bench, which I'm very excited about. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something about drywall. Um, that didn't scare you too much about it. It's very fun and easy. I, kinda, I liked it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.